artists are often awarded many honors during their recording career. They normally start with local and regional awards and then, if they're lucky, move up to achieve national recognition. When you get the call that the Country Music Hall of Fame wants you, then you know you've truly been accepted by the music community, as well as fans from around the world. We had a chance to catch up with new inductees Garth Brooks, Connie Smith, and Hargis Pig Robbins at the special announcement. I'm here with Connie Smith, who just got inducted. Now, how? what was your reaction when you got the phone call? Because you found out earlier, obviously. Yeah, the, they called me earlier. Steve called me, and I, I I just couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, Marty said, get that. He, I guess he saw the name and kind of su suspected. He said, answer that, and I answered it. It was Steve, and it, it was, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. It's just, it's really an honor to be here and be a part of this. It's, it's been uh, one of the great loves of my life. So it's uh, to, to bring it this far, you know, I'm just thankful to God. You've got other influences that were there for you along the way. Who were those? Well, Bill Anderson brought me to town and uh, cared enough and believed in me enough to invite me here. And uh, uh, Chet Atkins cared enough to sign me to RCA and induced me to Bob Ferguson. And he produced me for nine wonderful years working with him. And uh, I, I have to thank my band, that my current band. That's uh, Weldon Myrick was a big part of my career when he started. Pig Robbins is part of the reason I'm here. He played on most of my records. And uh, my band, uh, Rod Ham and uh, Gary Carter on Rod on bass, Gary on Gary Carter on steel, Rick McClure on drums, and Rick Wright on guitar. They're on my new album, and they're wonderful. I love uh, meeting them at the bus and going on the road with them. And uh, I thank my kids for you know believing in their mama and uh, just uh, with Marty helping me. He's producing me now and my records and. There's just, there's too many to, I know I'd forget a bunch of people, but it's, it's been a wonderful ride. I've, I've loved it. And my friends, so many friends that believed in me. I'm here with Hargis Pig Robbins. How are you? I know this is a big day. Oh, it is. I'm just, I'm just, I just, I'm beside myself. I can't, I, I just can't put into words how, how, how I feel. Now, getting here today and getting up and speaking, and talk a little bit about the first time that you, I, started playing keyboard how how old were you when you started oh seven years old i was in in the school for the blind and they they uh, came around and said anybody want to take piano lessons and I, oh yeah, yeah I, I was the one because i thought you know two or three weeks i'll be playing while i'm hearing on the radio wrong <laughs> course, of course they want me to play scales and all that kind of stuff you know which is boring but necessary now today kick said that it's a very flattering statement that when you're in the studio people say play some of that pig stuff play some of that what do you think that would be obviously it's your talent and the amazing keyboards that you play but what exactly is that pig stuff well it's it's a combination of uh, country pretty country and a little blues thrown in uh, I would that's the way I would describe describe it and your first number one was with George Jones yeah quite lightning all right. And would you say, what would you say is the biggest highlight of your career? Obviously, today would be right up there, I'm sure. Yeah, it would be. Oh, I don't know. Just playing on a record that sells, that's a hit, you know, a number one hit. That, that, that's good for me. It's a big day today. Garth Brooks just got announced that you're in the Hall of Fame. What was your reaction when they called you and told you? It was a mix of emotion. I was so, I was so overwhelmed, so overjoyed. I felt guilty, I felt uh, embarrassed, and I felt uh, honored. Uh, it's all the great feelings, so I, I feel very lucky to be here today. Randy Travis cleared the whole way for the 80s for guys like me in the class of 89 to come through. He opened all those doors. Um, you know, my generation shot at Haggard and Jones was Keith Whitley, and uh, Keith needs to be in here. Uh, Ricky Skaggs, my God, none of us will be here if it wasn't for Ricky Skaggs. He filled all the honky-tonks and everything there. So uh, uh, there's a lot of catching up to do, and like everybody that goes in it says it, and uh, they'll eventually get here. I just don't think that I should have been here before them, but I feel very honored, and, and I'll take it and feel very grateful for it. Was this one of your goals, like I'm going to be in the Country Music Hall of Fame, or did you take it day by day? No, I wanted to be a songwriter when I came here. I, I came here with much too young to fill this damn hole for George Strait. That was it. I didn't have any dreams or aspirations after that. Never touring, never cutting records. Just wanted to be a songwriter, and uh, and uh, it's weird because I didn't know then. I guess I did know then, but probably the greatest honor in this town 
is being called a songwriter. So being in the Songwriters Hall of Fame was wonderful. Now being in this Hall of Fame, it, it makes you feel very humble. Uh, just, I don't know how to say it other than that. All right, thank you very much. What's in the future for Garth Brooks? What can we expect, music maybe, or? Well, we'll see, our, um, our babies, uh, our youngest one's a sophomore in high school, so we got a couple more years. But I gotta tell you, if digital music retail right now doesn't change, I, I don't see us, I don't see us being able to even make records in the future. But touring, definitely, I, I would love to fire it up. The Nashville Flood Relief shows got the taste in my mouth so much, I, I'd, I'd love to fire it up again. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations, Garth Brooks on Inside Music Row. We still have lots more incredible music up ahead for you, so make sure to keep it right here. We'll catch up with Trace Atkins at a special benefit show next. We'll be back with more Inside Music Row right after this.